What happens if you put a Norwegian mover slash calisthenics athlete, that's me by the way, together with two professional gymnasts straight out of the national gymnastics team and put them together with two traditional Norwegian folk dancers slash slash break dancers and Viking staff acrobats and go high up in the Norwegian mountains to a remote dance and acrobatics academy to have fun. Let's find out. It's a new day at Frika Esmia in Valdres and um, today we're gonna do some dancing. Halling dance to be specific which is an old Norwegian folk dance which is pretty similar to breakdance actually somewhat so this is gonna be a pretty exciting day but I guess you guys will see that A hulling for me is about uh, having fun with your body and um, like through jumping, uh, landings, uh, rolling, uh, turning and kicking and so on. And people have been doing that in Scandinavia for at least 3000 years. We can find uh, the movements in petroglyphs and uh, it's a living tradition. So uh, here in Valdres you don't have uh, break dancing but you have hulling dancing. Okay guys, now we're gonna do some hulling inspired warm up just to sort of get our joints going. It's like um, you are dancing uh, against the sun, like uh, counterclockwise, and uh, kicking a hat and uh, often dancing together and uh, kind of uh, trying to boost up the energy and uh, have a little battle and so on. Let's do the same, but this time with someone who knows their stuff, all right? Try and apply that to music and rhythm and see how well we do. Yeah. 
And what about this hat kick? Does that have a particular story? Yeah, you know, um, back in the days, uh, the ceilings were a bit lower uh, in the old houses of Norway. So uh, it was about to kind of um, kick uh, the ceiling or um, uh, some shelves and so on. And uh, as you grew uh, up, you tried to kick uh, higher ceilings. But in the beginning of the 1800s, uh, uh, like boys were uh, called to mil military and they were practicing outdoor and they had no ceiling. So then they collected some money in some hats or in some pockets and uh, put on a stick. And the one which were uh, best in kicking uh, earned some money. Okay, so we're gonna try and handstand with rhythm now. That um, in uh, in in the countryside mm -hmm. where this dance has been very common, uh, like people used to get together to sort of battle. Yeah, that's true. And um, actually, back in the days, uh, they often um, met on the mountains during the summer to do battles. Um, a lot of uh, couple dancing, but in the end of the night, it was usually howling, which were uh, played by the fiddlers which is a bit more aggressive uh, dance and the one kind of, if you were um, unbattled you might uh, have been called a free car which is also the name that we took for the dance company. Yes. Time to kick the hat. The hat is out of the box. <laughs> So now we're going through everything that we learned so far, adding on a couple of things, and then we're gonna make like a short show.
hope you guys enjoyed this little dance session we had here at the Frikarsmia. And thanks, so, so many thanks to Hallgrim and Frikar for letting us stay at this awesome place and for, for teaching us hulling dance and some biking training stuff. And uh, remember to, to also follow Frikar uh, on YouTube. Uh, I will post the link down in the description and also their website in case you want to learn something from their tutorials. So subscribe, like, if you enjoyed this video, see you guys next time.